Hello Shining Ones, Megas here on a beautiful day in Asha. Today I have a special message for you. I have a prophecy for you, songs, and we're also going to have initiation into the Order of the Magi. I have people all the time asking me, Megas, how can I become a Zoroastrian? And so at the end of this we'll have an initiation, but first I want to start with a song from Karina Rainsmith. I love you guys. Hello Shining Ones, Asha is, if you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians, we are the Magi. Today in meditation, in that place between awake and asleep, I was hearing these songs so beautiful and, and they're very rhymy so that when I wake up they're still in my mind and it, it was about the sun, the light of the sun, and when it comes it removes that fog of confusion. When the, when the light of the sun comes it illumines the darkness, the ignorance. My friends, and I saw the sun as, as our sun, but also as Sirius. And you'll see how beautifully this came together. And the prophecy I, I was given was that the light of truth will come, is coming, and truth is already here, but people are going to start to wake up and, and to see it as, as that light of truth comes in. So let, let that give you hope. There, there's a day coming 
Well, when people will think it's ridiculous that back in history, people thought that God sent good and evil, that he loved and hated, that he was at peace and war, that he could send disease on people. They, they think, how did people ever fall for that? How did they ever go to war and, and kill each other? It's going to be so ridiculous to the future's thinking, my, my friends. And, and so... I pulled some cards this morning, and it was so beautiful with the vision I was getting. The first card I, I pulled was the hanged man, and it's a man hanging upside down, and he's getting a different perspective. My friend, well, when you're raised from a small child, and people that you look up to, your parents, grandparents, preachers, teachers, governments, friends, all, all tell you the world is a certain way. You just accept that as your truth, but sometimes you have to take a, a different perspective. You know, Penn and Jolly said it's so beautiful that, that our, our perspectives create our world, right? Every awful thing you see, every war you see, it started with a wrong idea in someone's mind before it was manifested in, in the world, right? We, we need a better idea, a better perspective, a higher one. My friends, real quick, I've been reading a lot of German literature lately. We're right after the war, and I could see the, the change. People were done with German nationalism, but, but here's, here's what, where they went wrong. They, they threw the baby out with the bath water, meaning uh, they, they didn't glean, they didn't keep the, the good, they didn't eat the meat and spit out the bones, they just threw everything out, they, and including a lot of good truth, my friends. And as I, as I was thinking about throwing out the baby with the bathwater, I started thinking about our mission here in Zoroastrianism, we call it protect the child, and the child is Asha, it's the truth, and we hold that truth. Oh my God, guys, wait till you see how this came together. So, so the second card I, I pulled was our old friend, the Three of Swords, and this is, represents the mind, and the mind has wrong ideas in it, wrong perspectives, and, and you'll see the scene, it's cloudy, and it's rainy, and that's how people feel in their hearts. My friends, we've got to remove those lies and illusions, but the important thing is, is to then replace it with, with the sword of truth, with what we call Asha, the, the child. My friends, and then the third card I pulled, I almost broke into tears. It's the sun card. And Spirit was giving me these visions of the sun and the, the rays and the, and the light. And then there's the baby, the child, right? Protect the child, protect the truth. And the, the baby, the child, is on a white horse, which represents Sirius. My friends, that pure virgin consciousness, that truth, that light, that, that fights the black horse in the Avesta. My friends, so beautiful. My friends, a uh, uh, time is coming, and the truth already is here because truth is substance and reality. What was, is, and forever shall be, but the world is going to wake up to it and, and see it all around them. My friends, and the world, the collective consciousness is going to live in that peace and that joy and that love and that Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. What else could he have had? Well, I talked to you earlier about joining uh, the Order of the Magi, becoming a Zoroastrian. It's a heart thing. And you have to accept that God is the highest principle of good. Zoroaster means pure starlight. It's undefiled, undiluted, unmixed. To be a Zoroastrian, your God can't love and hate. He can't be at peace and war. He can't send sickness and disease. He, he's just good. My friends, and when you take that spirit, that idea, that light, that truth into you, and you let it become you, my friends, you, you think Asha, you speak Asha, everything you do is Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. It's love. You do everything out of love. You, you create your, your atmosphere, you, first your own mind and peace of mind, and in your home and family and friends. My friends, but imagine the whole world creating from that place. So you receive that right energy. You, re, you restore God's image. 
You take that frequency, that idea, and it restores your image. Uh, Asha 13 says the original word is all good comes from the Creator and no evil comes from Him. From this original word, your spiritual world is made straight and your material world comes into order. The original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And from that false idea is all the evil the creatures suffer. You can end suffering today, my friends, by bringing in that light of truth, the all good spirit, holding Asha. Protect that child. Don't let anyone harm your child. My friends, don't let them take your peace and your joy. You, you create your atmosphere. My friends, you, we, we hold it, and as you'll see as you come together in this community, we hold it together and it gives it strength, and, and our light burns so bright, beautiful, shining ones. Oh, I love you guys so much. My God, my God. Last month we handed out 500 meals from book sales. Every dollar we get from the book sales we give to charity. This month we already have enough for a thousand meals for Christmas dinner. Let's do more. If you don't have your book, Asha, I'll leave a link in the drop down description. Get it. Get another one to hand out. And do me a huge favor. My friend, leave a review on Amazon. It moves us up in that algorithm. When people search for religious books, we're up higher and we sell more and we get this message to the world. And again, like I said, I, I don't touch any of the money. I give it all away. My friends, Asha is, I love, love, love you. Share this message with someone and we'll see you next time.